time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter too. And it's time to get this movie review started. Arlo the Alligator Boy is a new animated movie on Netflix for the kids and let me tell you it is cute quirky unique and when it comes to the music it is grade a plus it's all about the music in this so let me tell you a little bit what the story's about arlo is actually a half alligator and half human hence the title of the film arlo and the, the alligator boy you know he arlo was abandoned as a baby but recently you know grown up he finds out he has a father who lives in new york city so he decides to leave the swamp of Louisiana and journey there to find him. On his way, Arlo meets all sorts of characters, you know, who quickly become his friends and join him on the search for his father. Arlo, the alligator boy, excels in the music category. So much so, I would even kind of call this, you know, a musical. And it does not play around even when it was cast. Now, Arlo is played by Michael J. Woodard, who is actually on American Idol. Other characters in this, one of my favorites, who is Birdie the Giant Woman. She's played by Mary Lambert, who is a singer-songwriter. So they really went after it in the music category. The animation, I just adored. I mean, the creator, Ryan Krigo, he actually worked on DreamWorks before this. He was on films like Puss in Boots and uh, Kung Fu Panda 2. So he has some animation background, but this was just colorful and whimsical and kind of even the background designs was like a watercolor look. I thought it was very inviting to uh, to watch and eye please. It's not the perfect film by any means. I mean, it's an animated film, but it kind of, as an adult, it lost interest kind of in the, the second half when he finds his father and he goes back and forth and all this. But it's so much more about just you know the story in this the meaning is so sweet and beautiful the messages of friendship is in this acceptance but also finding the beauty in the differences of others you know they have all kind of different characters like i said my favorite was birdie the giant woman who you know she was big and and it could have easily gone for like the fat jokes but no that was not discussed they they accepted her for being big and it was never poking fun at the difference let's get to the parents guy mm -hmm. because as far as language goes i mean this was safe they replaced a lot of cuss words when they could have used you know cuss words or cuss sayings and, and they used things like one big saying was rickety biscuit rickety biscuit which i thought was cute i mean they have other things like they use the word fart and freak and things like that, but it's very mild in the language department. Sure, content, the most you can think of is, you know, Arlo was abandoned as a baby. You know, he has, goes out to look for his father. So there are some issues. If you, you know, your child might have issues with that kind of thing, it could be triggering. There's for a little stereotyping as far as Southern is concerned. Listen, I'm a Southerner myself, so I can be there, but you know, it kind of stereotypes them a little with being like uneducated and poor and the people in the swamp a little uneducated and how they speak and things like that. Arlo the Alligator Boy is on Netflix today. And I say, watch it. I enjoyed it. I thought it was cute. And the music, I was totally singing along. There also is going to be a series on this. So you might want to get on board now because Arlo ain't going anywhere. If you've seen it, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Till next time. Mwah.